Get ready. We're going to party. I think after the show tonight, we might get into a little something, go out somewhere, and definitely tomorrow I'll be walking around. I want to, you know, maybe go to do a little shopping, sightseeing. I mean, that's one of my favorite things about being a touring musician is getting to be in new places and kind of experience culture and communities, you know? And I do it my way. I do it like going out to eat and drink and shopping. That's my way of discovering communities. In community. It's so twisted. <laughs> no, it's not just that I do it Other people would say the right thing. They go, oh, yes, I went to the museum and I saw all the, you know, the historical monuments. And I'm like, eh, I got a jacket. <laughs> I think speaking of community, is that that's one of the main things that I like to write about and that I like to kind of cultivate with my fan fandom. Um, you know, a lot of them meet each other and become friends at these concerts. So to me, that's been the biggest inspiration in, in what music I wanted to put out there. Music that brings people together, music that allows people to see how they're, how they're the same instead of how they're different. Um, and, and music that, that breeds tolerance and, and celebration and um, uh, doesn't shy away from the eccentricities and the, the things that make us weird and strange, but instead celebrating them, you know? That's, that's really important to me. It's, it's really interesting because you can, if you want to, you can really analyze it all and separate your career from your personal life. And some separation is important. And in the past four years, I've, I, I turned 30 this year. So on a personal level, I'm doing my own growth. And then when you add this major career, which is all engrossing and consuming, when you add that to your own personal growth, it, it, it accelerates certain parts of it. It complicates certain parts of it. It, it gives you all these opportunities and adventures. So I, I look back. And in some ways, I know I'm the same guy, and I have a lot of the same core friends that I had before I was on Idol. But in other ways, I, I, I think my view of the world has really broadened, and my view of how people are to each other has really broadened. And um, like I said about the concert, that connectivity, that like community that you can create, that's amazing. That that can happen no matter where I land on a plane. You know, it's very cool. Uh, I'm gonna rock out. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big show. We're gonna I'm, I'm gonna get everybody to dance. I hope everybody in the audience better be bumping, and uh, I better see some glam out there. People in outfits and done up for the night. And one of the things I liked about the Cape Town show is I looked out in the audience and it was just such an amazing mix of people. So I, I'm looking forward to a similar thing tonight. I mean, sometimes it's like, it's the way that maybe they got dressed up for the concert. I think the real fans, what really sets them apart is people that know the words to the songs. And you can see them kind of singing along or reacting to a certain moment in a song that's big or um, just being connected, you know, being locked in. It's, it, that's the best part about doing what I get to do. And, and I get so much energy from the audience. If I'm feeling a little bit uninspired or, ooh, I'm a little tired, I can look at someone in the audience and it like lights me up. It's great. Yeah.